Hello everyone. Hope you are doing good. Welcome to the next video on this YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional. On this YouTube channel, I offer my knowledge and experience to all of you. So today we are going to talk about a uh, interesting topic uh, and and the feature in T365 which is managing the vendor consignment we are going to talk about what exactly is the vendor uh, consignment is how do we process in t365 and in which scenario we can do this right so this is what we are going to talk about so without further delay let's start the today's video okay so what is consignment inventory so consignment inventory is inventory which is owned by vendor but managed at the customer location okay and when customer is ready to consume or use the inventory the customer can take the ownership of the inventory so for example if usmf is the company who is using microsoft dynamics 365 and it usmf is going to buy the inventory from let's say a a supplier let's say 1001 in microsoft dynamics 365 if 1001 inventory is managed by usmf but not consumed okay and then they consume as and when they require that inventory right so that type of inventory we will call it as a consignment inventory so let's understand how exactly this will work so the consignment inventory is is from the vendor right so that means and it is owned by the customer let's say by us if we are the usmf so that means the vendor also needs the visibility to track that inventory what exactly is happening at the customer location right so we are going to introduce the vendor collaboration portal also in this and see that uh, how the vendor can have a clear view about their own inventory right so and it is an optional process not necessary that you need to use that but it's an optional process right so if we talk about the consignment process this is how it is start so first is that you need to create a consignment order and uh, based on the consignment order you post the product received in finance and operation which means at this moment the vendor is give vendor is transferring their own inventory to the customer location but still the owner of the inventory is the vendor not the com not the company who is managing the inventory let's say not the customer or not the usmf in this case right and the vendor can have the view of this on an inventory using the vendor portal okay now how do i let's say now i have transfers of inventory now i want to use that inventory for my manufacturing process or uh, or maybe i want to sell to my customer right so how do i use that so what you need to do that the owner of this inventory uh, is is the vendor so you need to change the ownership to yourself which is which means like you need to change it to your uh, change it to the usmf as the owner of the inventory right and once you post that that means the system is going to create a purchase order automatically and then it is going to be received at your location and now that inventory is owned by you not by the vendor now vendor has an has has uh, has to raise the bill against that in uh, against that inventory which you have consumed so vendor can submit the bill now it can be through the vendor collaboration portal or it can be if you are not using the vendor collaboration it can be in other ways like how you are receiving your normal vendor invoices and then once you receive the vendor invoices you process the payment the typical process which we have for procure to pay so this is the kind of end to end process which we have for the vendor consignment now this is our use case let's say we are going to have the vendor 1001 who is uh, uh giving the inventory to the usmf okay we are going to use this product okay and let's say vendor is transferring the inventory of thousand quantity of this product 
and later on usmf consumes the 150 quantity out of this thousand so we will see that how the how usmf can receive thousand quantity from vendor but still have the ownership on the at the, for the vendor level right and how we can consume 150 quantity from that thousand quantity and have the treatment of that and how do we record the invoice against that that is what we are going to discuss in this video now to process this what you need is the configuration for the consignment setup we are going to have the process of uh, consignment replacement order how do we change the ownership and then how do we close the purchase order and also how do we have the tracking of the consignment inventory using the vendor portal now if we, if, uh, one note here that this process works with the moving average and standard cost inventory valuation only as of now in d65 and one of the prerequisites if you are using the vendor collaboration portal then you need to set up the vendor collaboration i have written a couple of blocks on that i'm going to put that into the uh, description of this video okay so next is the demo so let's move to the dynamics and see that how this whole process is going to work so let's see first thing is the prerequisites so let's see i have set up a supplier for the intercompany so i'm going to show you that what i have done so i am going to use this supplier so this supplier is enabled for the vendor collaboration right so i can log into the vendor collaboration as one of the user and then see this so this is one of the thing which you need to do the second thing is that you need to set the owner uh, so for that you need to go to inventory management uh, under setup uh, you have got the dimension and then you have the inventory owners so here you need to set up this vendor as one of the owner here so we have created this so this is second thing which you need to do the third thing is that you need to have the product master uh, with the correct tracking dimension created so let's go to the product master and go to the released product okay and this is my sub uh, the product which i'm going to use now on this product if you see uh, i am having a tracking dimension which is uh, set up as uh, owner here so if i uh, click on this uh, owner dimension so just a moment give me a moment for this okay so i click on the owner here so if you see that your tracking dimension should owner tracking dimension should be active and if you are and, and this needs to be planned at the time of the product master okay so if you have not planned this you should uh, plan it uh, properly okay so that's the configuration which we need to have okay so now let's create the uh, consignment order right so for that what we need to do we need to uh, go to the procurement and sourcing and under the procurement and sourcing you will find a consignment tab here and the order which we need to create is the consignment replacement order so consignment replacement order is getting the inventory on your location but is still defining the vendor as the owner of that particular inventory it's not your inventory you can't consume it okay so i'm going to create a new order here so we'll select the supplier which we have set up for our use case so i'm going to select that supplier here and i'm going to select the site and warehouse where i'm going to receive this inventory okay so click ok here and i can add the line which product i need so i can enter the product number which i'm going to use for my use case so this is my product i'm going to add I'm going to add the quantity here as thousand quantities. Okay, and save.
So this is my order which has been created. Now let's say vendor has shipped this order and I want to do the product receipt as this. So I will generate the product receipt and I can enter the product receipt number here, the quantity, I, uh, it will be populated. But if there is something else, I can just uh, change it uh, here and then put it. So I'll just post the product receipt. So once the product receipt is posted, what we can do is that we can go and check the inventory transactions. So let's see how it is reflecting. So if you see the product is received here, the status is received and quantity is thousand here. If you see the cost amount is not populated here. And if we want to add the owner here, so or not like this, what we can do is we can use the dimension display and in the dimension display, we will enable owner because we have configured the tracking dimensions. And if you see the owner, it is showing us is the supplier. Okay. So which means now this inventory is at our location, which is our site and warehouse, but the owner of this inventory is our supplier, not us. Okay. So hope this is clear. Now let's say if vendor want to see this view that, okay, I have transferred the thousand quantity to the customer location. Can I see that how it is reflecting? So through the vendor collaboration portal, how the vendor can see this. So let's log into the vendor collaboration uh, for this particular supplier and see the inventory view there. So right now I am uh, uh, into the vendor collaboration portal, uh, logged in uh, as, a, as a supplier. Now, if you see here, I have the option under the vendor collaboration, which is the consignment inventory. And I have the option here as the on hand inventory, on hand consignment inventory view. So if I click on this, I can see that uh, vendor can see that the, the vendor is the owner of the inventory of this particular product and it is available as thousand quantity here. Okay. So the vendor has the clear view about its own inventory, though it is at the customer location. Okay. Now the next process is, let's say USM have decided to use the 150 quantity from this inventory. So how do we change the owner say from 1001 to the USMF? Okay. So let's see that. So to transfer the ownership, what you need to do is that you need to create a inventory journal. So you go to inventory management under journal entries items, you have inventory ownership change. So you should have a journal name defined before you perform this process. So I'm going to create a new journal here and type is selected. And then I click on okay here and then let's add the item which we want to uh, transfer or for which we want to change the ownership so we select this product and uh, we will put the site as one okay warehouse is one okay the from owner is this Okay, so from this owner, we want to change it to the owner. So two owner is the USMF and it is a non editable right now. Okay, and how many quantities we want to transfer. Okay, so this is what we are going to enter here. Once this is fine, I'm going to save this and I can post the journal here. Now, see here, you also have a, a workflow here. So if it is a critical process for you, so you can also set up a workflow process so that before you change the ownership from your supplier to yourself, if it has to be reviewed by your finance department, because it is going to have the cost impact or it is going to create a automatically a purchase order and the product receipt. Okay. So you can have a workflow play in place so that it can be approved before you perform this process. So my journal is posted. Now what I can do is I can go and see the inventory transactions. And if you see the inventory transactions here, 
uh, you can see the inventory ownership has been changed. So which means now let me add the owners as a dimension here. So remember we had the first thousand quantity with this ownership. Now it has created uh, another transaction with the sold status minus 150 quantities and it has uh, moved to the uh, received of the purchase order uh, with the uh, purchase order transaction it has created the purchase order as well and it is under the receipt status and the owner is now USMF okay so now let's go and see how the purchase order is being created so I can click on the purchase order number and let's view that uh, what information it has and what is the status of this purchase order. So if you see that purchase order has created for 150 quantity. Now unit price has not picked up. Ideally this unit price we should have it uh, 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 in the trade agreement or some, some purchase price that should be set up for the, with the supplier. So once that's there it will be picking up that. Uh, you see the order status is received that means the product receipt has been posted automatically and due to that only we were seeing the inventory transaction in our list okay so this is from the usmf view perspective now let's say how it is reflecting from the supplier because supplier has uh, a view of out the inventory of thousand quantity will supplier have the view about that this 150 has been consumed by the usmf so let's move to the vendor collaboration portal now so this is my vendor collaboration uh, portal uh, now I can go so on hand consignment inventory let's see that what it is showing now so if you see last time it was showing the 150 quantity now it is showing 850 because the uh, 150 has been consumed but if I want to see the breakup of that 150 so I can click on this purchase orders which where I can see that if there are purchase order which has been so it shows that there is one purchase order which has been created uh, for this product and everything is reflecting and 150 quantity is available here okay we can also see that how this has been consumed using the product receipt so it is showing that there was a product receipt which has been performed by the usmf or inventory ownership has been changed and that was the purchase order which was created this is a product receipt number which has been um, created and if you want to drill down to the purchase order from the supplier portal you can drill down here okay now the next process is we have the receipt purchase order now if vendor wants to submit the invoice uh, against this purchase order the vendor can submit the invoice and it can be also done through the vendor collaboration portal if you are using so you click on the invoicing tab here and then you create a new invoice you select the purchase order for which you want to raise the invoice so this is my purchase order let's say you put the invoice number you put the invoice date so typical process of our uh, vendor uh, collaboration portal that how do we submit the invoice so you create an invoice here so now you have this invoice and from here you can follow the process that how the invoicing process is uh, is going to be managed using the vendor collaboration portal so i'm not going to explain that process because i have written the blog and i'm going to put on the description you can go and then view that how the end-to-end -end process using the vendor collaboration works and if it was not using the vendor collaboration you could have recorded the invoice directly on the purchase order as well uh, okay Yep, so this was the process about uh, the managing the vendor consignment inventory. Hope it helps you what the consignment inventory is that how do you manage this and how vendor can have a better traceability, the visibility about the inventory, which is at the customer location. That's it for uh, today's uh, video. Hope you enjoy my content and uh, if you do, so request you to like, share and subscribe okay so that concludes today's video and looking forward to seeing you all in the next one and thank you for watching and yep take care